I love a good fire, but not when it kills people and destroys forests. Now, forests have evolved with fire in California because humans have been setting fires here for a very long time for lots of different reasons. You can learn more about that at culturalfire.org. And when they did those frequent fires, they didn't get trees that were so close together like this. So when the trees get really close together like this and they catch on fire, it doesn't just burn the outside of the bark and the undergrowth underneath of it. It goes all the way up into the crown, up into the tops of the trees. Now giant sequoias are fire resistant. That red, red wood helps them be more fire resistant. But if we keep, uh, if we, if we keep smoky burying, I call it smoky burying, preventing all the fires, not having any prescribed burns, we're going to continue to have really thick forests like this. This is an unnatural forest. This is a pseudo forest. And when this gets really, really thick, it burns really, really hot. And then it doesn't matter how much fire resistance or fire adaptations these giant sequoias have. If we neglect our stewardship responsibilities, we're going to lose these big trees. And we have, we've lost a lot of these giant sequoias just in the last several years because the forests are getting so thick. We're getting so many of these dog hair thick forests that cause fires to burn higher and hotter and more intense than ever. And that is a huge problem if we wanna continue having our legacy trees, our beautiful giant sequoia trees.